Greetings everyone, my name is Dom and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to increase FPS in Just Cause 3. So this is before all the changes, let's just hop into the graphics menu here and you'll see I'm running full screen, uh, V-Sync off and everything maxed out. The gameplay you're being shown is before all the changes have been set. Uh, I blow up a bridge and... The FPS drops to 50. In a second, I will enlarge it. The file on the left is the actual FPS, and the file on the right is the file FPS. So, just get that in your mind. It drops to 50, and it's kind of unplayable. The next bit of gameplay I'm about to show is after I have made all the changes. And looking at the skybox, we get 190. We're looking at the ground, we get 140-ish, and when looking around, we are now getting 120. A very big improvement. Before we get into it, I do just want to say that open world games sort of are slowly getting to the point where they need an i7. Uh, there, are, there are bottlenecks with i5s, so if you have an i5 and don't feel like upgrading to an i7, then definitely do consider uh, overclocking that will get rid of a lot of bottleneck and most certainly make your card run harder I would also recommend if you're getting FPS drops that you get at least 8 gigabytes of RAM if you have 4 gigabytes of RAM you cannot run this game without getting FPS drops just bear that in mind but anyway let's get on to the tutorial so first up you're going to want to update your drivers for AMD users you're going to want to load up Google Chrome and then just type in AMD drivers it's there download drivers and then you just either automatically download this software to automatically detect them uh, or you can just select whatever card you have here say if I had an R9 Fury X and I was on Windows 10 um, I just click display results and then it come up here however I'm on Nvidia and so for Nvidia users you just right click here and you go to GeForce experience it will load up and after a few seconds it will load up GeForce Experience and then you can download your drivers from the get-go from there. Now I have not downloaded them yet so I am running off of the drivers that were in the game or that were uh, you know released before but obviously there is some game ready drivers for Just Cause 3 and Rainbow Six Siege to make sure that they run favorably. Now you just saw some gameplay there there were a few FPS drops um, there was also uh, a bit of lag when there was like a big explosion going down when you saw that bridge going down uh, but hopefully we can get rid of all that with this tutorial uh, to do that you just click download driver I won't do that now but you just click download driver and then go through the install and make sure you check clean install when you're actually downloading them because that gets rid of your older drivers which is what you want to do now uh, in the description I will have a link to this file here it's called try FPS pack you open it up once you download it and it has these files in it and we will be going over a few of these. First up, Razer Cortex. Now this little bit of software is not currently running but if you do a bit of this, uh, once you install it, it will load up something like this. Here we go, here's my old games. Uh, this isn't actually all of them but hey. Um, so it comes up with all the games that it can find and you don't really want any of this you want to go to boost and you want to click boost now again I'm not going to do it because otherwise it will just mess up my audacity recording so once you have cleaned up that uh, load up advanced system care again it's linked here therefore you don't have to download one with the virus so you know this one is clean and everything I'll even do a bloody check for you for those that think that it's a virus let's see no threats detected all good all good so just install that okay you can go away now install that and it should look a little bit like this this is what it should look like you just want to click select all and click scan or go through the whole system uh, and then do everything that you want it to do which is clean and optimize your PC then you're going to want to go to speed up and turn on turbo boost just turn that on and you'll be good to go you can configure it so it's all good for games uh, but this will give you a pretty big FPS boost. Uh, so just turn that on and it will clean up RAM and stuff. C Cleaner. Now, again, that's linked here. Just install it and then once you open it up, it should look like this. 
uh, you're going to want to go to applications and click run cleaner and then windows and run cleaner uh, cleaning your registry will definitely uh, solve a lot of FPS drops and stuff so do you scan for issues it will find any issues and just fix them up right away install DirectX now this is this thing here you just double click it click yes and it should load up this you click I accept next and then uncheck the install Bing bar and then click next and it should go through the install obviously I've already done it um, but once you do that again you'll be up to date with DirectX so there's not gonna be any problems there included in the try FPS pack folder there is also a CPU unpark app folder now this is not one that you have to install it's already all the files are already here and again it's not a bloody virus you know I can check if you want hold on scan with AVG it just loads up here we go, loading data, and there we go, no threats detected. Voila. Okay, so just launch this. Click yes. And it'll load up this little box here. You click check status. Searching registry. It does not increase the heat output of your CPU in any way. It will not heat up your CPU and it will not damage your computer. What Windows does is it deactivates all of your cores um, when there is no like huge load on the computer but you just click unpark all once it's come up with all of your parked cores obviously you have unparked mine already uh, just click unpark all and it'll load it and then click ok and there we go unparked everything I have a 6 core CPU and by default Windows parks 2 when idle uh, system performance tweaks okay so you're going to want to click on the start button, click control panel, click system and security, click system, advanced system settings, and under the advanced tab and under the performance section click settings and you have this little box, you click adjust for best performance and then click apply. If you're on Windows 7 or earlier you will notice that everything will just turn into Windows 95, there is a box here that you can tick to stop that from happening, however it does not happen on Windows 8 or Windows 10. So, uh, it's not listed here, I don't know what it's called, I can't remember. But there is one for that if you're on Windows 7 or earlier. Now we are going to clean up our temp files. So you want to do Windows key and R, and it will load up this little box. Uh, you want to type in prefetch, and click continue. And then you will have all of these temp files. Again, this will not damage your computer. Just Control A and delete, and then it will have one or two files that you can't delete, just click cancel, and that's it. And then you have to do the same for another file, which is percent temp percent. Again, this deleting these will not delete any of your actual you know main files that's important, won't delete any of your game saves, any anything. This is just all of the crap that your PC throws in the bin but sort of like gets stuck to the sides on the way down. Just don't worry about it, just delete it all because it's just um, dragging your computer down in terms of performance. If you've never done this before, there will be a lot of files in here, so it may take a while. Um, once you've done that, right click on your recycling bin and click empty recycling bin, click yes, and then that will just empty it and that will clear up for some space. Um, to clear up some more space, which is always handy, um, Right now my drives are in pretty good condition in terms of storage space apart from this one but that's my recording drive it only has my uh, footage on there. Now we're going to go into Nvidia control panel so just click on here click on here and get Nvidia control panel if you have an AMD graphics card uh, or you don't have a graphics card at all which in which case I don't know why you're watching this video and why you're bloody trying to run just cause 3 because it probably just won't happen but uh, say you are then you won't just you won't have this go to global settings and follow my steps okay so you won't have the monitor technology probably not anyway um, I have a G-Sync monitor so that's why I have it on there however you probably won't I paid a lot of money for my monitor so ambient occlusion off anisotropic filtering application controlled anti-aliasing off anti-aliasing gamma correction on Anti-aliasing mode, application controlled, anti-aliasing transparency off, CUDA GPUs, all DSR factors off. That just lets you upscale um, into a higher resolution. Uh, max pre-rendered frames, use 3D application setting, uh, MFAA on, 
uh, multi-display slash GPU acceleration single display performance mode uh, power management prefer maximum performance refresh rate highest available shader cache on texture filtering off uh, then allow then quality then on uh, threaded optimization on triple buffering off vertical sync use 3d application setting uh, vertical you know, virtual reality pre rendered frames one although that won't really make a difference unless you have like an oculus rift or a HTC Vive headset Go to program settings and then we can find, uh, it's not currently here so we're going to have to add it, click add and find Just Cause 3, if it's not here then just click browse and then find whichever folder you stored it in and we're going to have to change some stuff here. Okay, so right now it's using G-Sync but, um, okay yeah I'm just going to leave it G-Sync, uh, what else? Astrophic filtering, we'll just leave that at FXAA. I have that off, I would turn that off if I were you. Gamma correction, you can leave that on, it doesn't really make a difference. Anti aliasing mode, application controlled always. Anti aliasing transparency, I've got that off, you don't want a super sample, um, that will just munch up your frames. Uh, CUDA, you want that to all. Uh, I don't know how this game does in terms of SLI. So I can't comment on that, but you know maybe you can find that out for yourself. Uh, max pre-rendered frames. Use global setting, which is use that three application. What's well, technology? Do you think again? You may not have that. MFEA on uh, single display performance mode only. Maximum performance. Um, shader cache on texture filtering is off. Allow. It should be high performance, no, texture filtering. You may want to put this to high performance, but I will put this to high quality because I have a good PC. Trilinear optimizer, actually no, for the video sake, it's put to high performance. Trilinear optimization, put that to on. Threaded optimization should be on, triple buffering off. V-Sync should be off, but again, it's using the 3D application settings, which is off anyway. Uh, and again, virtually pre-rendered frames is one using the global setting but that shouldn't make all that much difference unless you're using a again VR headset so once this moves there we go click apply and then there should be a bit of a fidget on the screen there we go and then we can finally come out of this okay now you'll men you know, you'll notice I opened GeForce experience up a bit earlier on it looks like this you're going to want to go to games. If you've never opened this up before, you'll just have to do a quick scan of your games. And again, I don't know why, but it hasn't uh, loaded up all my games. We're going to find Just Cause 3 and click Optimize. Okay, before we jump into actual gameplay of how we all did, let me just remind you again, if you're on an i5 or even an i7 or any CPU for that matter, uh, I cannot recommend enough that you overclock your CPU. If we head into Task Manager here, excuse me, uh, go to Performance tab, then you can see down the bottom here, uh, my performance is well, my so the speed of my CPU is 4.3 gigahertz currently, although I have it clocked to 4.5. I don't know why it's not showing that, but. Hey ho! Another thing that I would recommend you do is overclock your GPU, especially for a game like Just Cause 3. It's pretty GPU intensive, as it is CPU intensive. But now, we are going to set priority of our game, so if we launch Just Cause 3... Okay, so Just Cause 3 is running down the bottom right. You're going to want to open up Task Manager. You can do this by doing Control, Alt, Delete, and then selecting Task Manager, or just typing it in here, task manager, and just loading it up. Again, Just Cause 3 needs to be running. It needs to be running for you to do this step. Just bear that in mind. Once you know that it's running, go to the Details tab, and find Just Cause 3. Right click on it, set priority, click to high, change priority. You don't want to do real time, because that will mess up your audio, and for those that says, um, that denies access to change the priority. Just restart your PC, come back in, and you know you can get straight back to it. Just set priority again, and then you will be able to do it this time. Just restart your PC and you'll be fine. But yep, now that we've done that, we can jump into the game and see how the performance has changed. Okay, so we are back in the game. FPS is in the top left-hand corner. 
let's go to our options and tweak them real quick. Actually, let me just put the sound back on. Hold on. So, I found that mode actually gives me more FPS, which is kind of weird. Uh, again, V-Sync needs to be off. I'm running at 1440p. Uh, quick note to all those with higher end PCs. SMAA looks better than an SMAA uh, T2X. I have no idea why, but I have mine to SMAA. I think it improves performance as well. Just the Jaggies look so much better with this one than they do with this one. There's a lot of Jaggies with this one. And FXA just blurs it out. But if you have a lower end system, obviously you can put it to FXAA or off. Uh, let's put it to FXAA. So, texture quality very high, water detail very high, water tessellation on. Again, everything is pretty much the same. Uh, let's get rid of motion blur. What else can we get rid of? We don't want ambient occlusion. Global illumination is okay, but actually, let's turn that off. Screw space reflections, that's quite nice. Let's keep that on. Depth of field is nice, so I'm going to keep that on. Edge fade. Uh, let's turn that off. Hold on. Is that just a... Oh, it's just a big net, so I can turn that off. Um, and in the top left again you can see the FPS and we're starting out from exactly the same place so it's at 1080p, FPS is in the top left hand corner go continue so essentially everything is the same apart from like depth of field there's no more motion blur that's about it really and we are running a lot higher, 100 FPS. Uh, let's block this bridge actually. A few more ways to increase your FPS if you haven't already. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, but another few more ways to increase FPS is obviously to upgrade your PC. Let's actually all do them in this point. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, let's do it there. Sorry, that's my phone. Uh, let's go up and let's detonate the bridge. <laughs> what an idiot. Alright, so I don't think that uh, destroyed it totally. No, it didn't. Okay. More. 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 Okay. Let's go up here. Go all the way over here. Don't run me over. Boom. Oh, crap. Oh, crumbs. And before we saw a dip down to 40, but now it's a dip down to 80. So a lot more playable. Yeah, it's like a scene from Spider-Man. All right, let's be Spider-Man. Second thoughts, fuck them. If you, any of you guys need help, then just list it down in the comments below and I will be happy to help you. Uh, it's what I live for. I live to serve my subscribers, of course. But do remember that my channel is not only uh, FPS guides. I mean, it's actually kind of rarely FPS guides these days. Um, I do lots of uh, high quality videos. I mean, maybe not my last one. That was just an eight second video of me doing a really bloody weird burp. <coughs> but, you know, still funny. Still worth a, still worth a watch. But, uh, oh, let's grab some right here. But anyway, guys, if this video did help you out, then do show your appreciation by tapping that like button. I love your face, and I will see you guys in the next one. Sarah.